Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Susan McCord. Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is having relationship regrets can keep you stuck. So what happens is a lot of the time we'll sit there and harbor on feelings about what didn't happen, what should have happened, and regrets, and all the other things that go with losing somebody that you had a relationship with in the past. You're questioning what transpired. Why did we not work out? You don't trust yourself. So you're saying, you're saying constantly, how am I going to get over this person? How do I move on from my life when this relationship didn't work out? The one thing that I stress in so many videos is to learn the lesson from each relationship to move forward. If you don't own what maybe you took part in, in the relationship, and you're putting all the blame on them, or you're blaming yourself and you regret for your own actions, this will hold on to any type of love that you can have moving forward because you're not completely there for your partner. You have to manage these emotions that are hindering around inside of you and not moving, removing themselves. And the one way to do this is to, if you have the possibility of talking to your past partner, just even having a coffee with them or get on the phone with them and find out maybe they've got some, some great viewpoints they can give you. Maybe there's something that you didn't have enough closure with. And maybe this is what the problem is. Maybe you felt blindsided. Maybe they broke up with you and you don't know why. You're not clear about that. The one thing that I really like to hear from my clients is that they do talk to their ex about what happened. That they take their part in it and add some clarity for their partner so they can move on. Because it really does, it doesn't really matter if it's you who broke up or they broke up. If you have regrets about what happened and what transpired in that time you were together, you're always going to be sitting here not trusting yourself in your next relationship. I think it's also really important for you to understand that if you were truly meant to be with somebody from your past relationship, that you would have found your way back with them. Again, if you go and talk to them and find out and have some more clarity about as a, to what transpired between the both of you, you might be able to clear that. You might not have to think about it anymore. Maybe that's all you need. And maybe you ended things and now you're feeling, what if? And nobody wants to spend their life with what ifs. Because then you're constantly questioning yourself about every move you make who you date next, what relationship you end up in, you're comparing. Always try to get as much closure as you possibly can from each scenario. That will help you so much to also understand a little bit more about yourself. Because if they tell you what didn't work and you tell them what didn't work, now you know what you need moving on with somebody else and what's important to you. So if you're constantly having regrets about so many things when it comes to relationships, or dating. You have to take some time away from this arena, sit down and start analyzing stuff. Look and see if there's, there's similarities with some of the relationships. Maybe your regret is because you didn't try hard enough. Maybe you ran away too quickly. Maybe you had some emotional unavailability when you were with them and you feel bad about it. So you're having regrets and you're having a hard time moving on because you don't want to do that to somebody else. Another reason, reason to have closure call them up, tell them this. If they don't answer, send them a text telling them how sorry you are and that you feel really bad about messing up a situation for them and they thought they were in it for the long haul with you. Whatever the scenario is that's making you have regrets, take some time to educate yourself on why that is. This is so important so that you can be happy later on because if you're holding on to stuff, you're not going to put yourself out there anymore because you're going to be so afraid of it happening again or that you're going to hurt somebody or you're going to get hurt. Whatever transpired in your breakup before will be a fear moving on. But if you feel that there's something still there between the two of you and you have regrets from, from walking away from it, 
take the time to share that with them and see. Maybe there is something. Maybe there's not. But if you don't try, you're always going to wonder. And if you're always wondering about that other person, you're not free to give love to somebody else. It's always easy to fantasize about what you had with an ex and how great it was because you're sitting there missing them and you're thinking about the great things. But there's a lot of things that happened and why you're no longer together. And you have to look at it clearly. It's not just about the good things. You've got to put everything into perspective and weigh that out. This is why I always say having closure, having conversations, if you're stuck on certain things, is the best way to move forward. Because if you choose to ignore it, sweep it under the rug, it's always there in the basement of your mind. And it comes up here and there and can cause problems in other relationships. Everybody goes through trials and tribulations of finding love, understanding what that means. As long as you're finding closer and closer and closer to what you're looking for, it's totally okay. But if you're holding on to regrets with every single situation, there's something that you need to cleanse. There's something stuck. And that will keep you from finding true happiness and finding your person because you're not completely ready to give to somebody. And in closing to this topic today, if you're regretting a, a breakup or a relationship with somebody because you just can't get over, over them and you wish that you'd never ever had them in your life because they've got this hold on you and they're on your social media or you see them in social circles, please remove yourself from them as much as you possibly can because this is taking a bit of a toll on your ego and it's also taking a toll on your heart. So any regrets you have in any capacity, find solutions as quickly as you can so it doesn't havoc, take havoc with other things that are coming to you in your life as far as relationships go because you do deserve to be in love and happy. But living in with regrets with anything in your life is not a good thing. Take the lesson you learned and move forward with clarity and with more intelligence about what you want for your future. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Suckers to today. Please subscribe to my channel and if you have any show topic ideas, leave them in the comment section below the video. Thank you so much. Take care everyone. Have a great week.